Hit points in D&D are more like a stamina meter rather than a health bar. It's there to show you how much you can take before falling unconscious and needing to make your final saving throws. Each character's hit points are determined by two factors, the class's hit die and their constitution modifier. Starting off with hit die, they can be found under your classes page in the player's handbook, or in today's example, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. But here's a quick rundown for you anyway. The meat shield, I mean barbarians, have a d12. The martial classes, such as the ranger, fighter, and paladin, have a d10. Mages, like the wizard, and sorcerers are the squishiest with a d6, and the rest of the classes are just stuck with a d8. Now, the first level in any class, you'll take the maximum amount possible, so for someone like Bang here with a d8 hit die and a plus 4 in constitution, he'll start off with 12 hit points at level 1, and whenever he levels up, he will roll a d8 and add the number rolled plus his constitution modifier to his maximum hit points, increasing as he levels up. Now, this does mean if you have a negative, you could possibly lose hit points whenever you leveled up. However, increasing your constitution works retroactively with your hit points. Meaning if Bang increased his constitution to a plus 5 at level 8, he'll add 8 hit points rather than just 1. 